Hi guys, it's been a while. Um, today we're going to go through some pentatonics, major and minor pentatonics, aren't we? Yeah. And you yeah. already know the, the pentatonic shapes. The minor ones at least. What's that? You don't? Of course you do. And you know your majors as well, because your major is your minor shape. Right, for example, if I play A minor here, and I play... That's going to give me A minor pentatonic. Yeah. So it's A minor pentatonic. Yeah. Now, most people just blaze around the A minor pentatonic and they don't really kind of know what they're doing. Okay. Um, but if you, um, oh, that's actually for another video. I had something else in my head there. But um, yeah, so we've got our A minor pentatonic. Now, if we was to play over C, just give me a C chord, please, Bruce. I play from the A minor shape, right, but I play from my little finger. That sounds pure major. Because that is major pentatonic. There's your major tonality. Your tonalities are different. If you've got um, minor pentatonic, then you do your. Want to show them a nice little blues lick? Um, in a minor pentatonic? No, no. You're not. You're not worthy of it. People, you know, just fucked up in there. Blaze around. I didn't notice that. <laughs> but if you've got like, um, for example, if you're in like, if you've got like a C, like lots of stuff can be in C, then you can play your major pentatonic there in C. The root notes are different, okay? You just have to work around your root notes. So shape one minor pentatonic, two root notes on the E strings, one on the D string. Shape one, which we know in minor, becomes shape five in major. Now the root notes are on the two E strings, starting on the eighth fret, and one on the G string. And that's how you switch it around. So, for example, in the 12 bar blues, if you've got A dominant seven, the next chord you're going to play is D dominant seven. Now, most people, no, some people just stay in their minor. It's classic. But they don't hit the uh, minor tonalities of, uh, of the, the characteristics of the D chord. So what you can do is, uh, first of all, get your minor pentatonic shape. So for D, that would be the fourth shape minor pentatonic played on the fifth fret. Now, if you want to mix a major pentatonic in that, your major pentatonic shape would be the fifth fret as we know it, starting on the 5th fret, 5th shape starting on the 5th fret, E string. So, just to recap, A minor pentatonic, 1st shape, A major pentatonic, so your 1st major pentatonic shape is your 2nd shape minor, 2nd shape minor, yeah, it's your 1st one. So, A major, uh, a minor over the D chord, you know, minor pentatonic shape four. Major pentatonic shape five, as we know it. Now becomes shape three, major pentatonic. So if you wanted E. For example, E minor pentatonic would be third shape slide on the fifth fret. Yeah? 
So there's your minor pentatonic tonic. You can so basically you can cover the chord changes. Now if you wanted major pentatonic, you know you would start. Um, what shape is it? Shape four down here. You shape. I had to think about that. Then ah, you had to sh shape four here, starting on the uh, fourth fret. So just to recap, A minor pentatonic. Recap that twice. A major. Oh well, no, but they could be idiots. Right? D, <laughs> D minor pentatonic. Oh shit. D minor pentatonic. D major pentatonic. Shape 5. E minor pentatonic. E major pentatonic. So just go over them, cover the changes. We'll cover more of this stuff in depth. Um, just see how you get on with that, man. Okay. So follow us and you'll find out. Follow us and then you'll find out. You little fucking cunting bastards. Bye. <laughs>